Hey, I'm Ted Vera. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey, I want to make a short video today to talk about making your own books. Talk more about making your own photography books. It was about a year ago, it was around this time last year that I think, yeah, right around this time, I started uh, using MagCloud services. Uh, it's a, another partner company with Blurb. I used MagCloud services to make my first book. I made the book. I loved it. I loved the process. I made another one. I think I ended up making about five books. Then I kind of faded off YouTube for a while. Yeah, taking a break. Uh, but I want to talk more about it today because um, I think while I was gone, I did make another book about the photographs that I took while I was in Portland back in 2018. Man, I love those photos. Portland. Man, it's my favorite city that I've ever lived in. Very cool vibe. I love the architecture. It's almost got kind of a San Francisco feel to it, but just smaller. You know, it's got the rivers, the bridges, the river. It's got a river, <laughs> but it's got the bridges that are just beautiful. Waterfront Park. Yeah, definitely my favorite city I've ever lived in. Yeah, man, Portland, great city. It does make me sad to think about the things that they're going through, you know, currently. But they'll come through it. It's a great place and it'll be cool again. Yeah. So it was important to me. I did want to put this book together. I love the photographs I got. And I love this book. Yeah, it's probably the favorite, my favorite book that I've done so far. Um, um, I did want to put this book together. So I just wanted to talk to you guys again. And hopefully you've been making your own books, right? But if you haven't, check out how easy this is. <laughs> I'll give you kind of a, a really quick tour of a brief, yeah, overview of what the process is like. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so first of all, you just want to go to uh, magcloud.com. And if you want to, you can go ahead and click on formats and you can see all the different formats that they've got here magazine, pamphlet, flyer, digest. That's what I started using to begin with. I thought it'd be kind of cool, but the problem I had with it is that it just didn't give enough attention to vertical shots. So I ended up moving on to square publication. So just say, for example, you want to do a square, <laughs> you want to do a square publication. Click on create square publication. And I just want to do an eight by eight. And I don't have anything to upload yet, so I need to get a template. And yeah, up here you choose the software that you want to use. You've got a good selection. Adobe InDesign, yeah, man, that's probably the most powerful layout program there is out there. You can do amazing things, real professional stuff. It's a little steeper learning curve, um, but if you, if you can get into it, yeah, man, very powerful. It's got Photoshop. Uh, pages for Mac, Word for Mac, Word for PC, Microsoft Publisher, and Quark, right? Well, I'm, I've been using uh, Pages for Mac. It's been working out great. So I just select the software, then I go download now. Cool. There's the folder I want it to go to. And it's just going to download that. Okay. So then what I do, so I'm going to kind of skip ahead in time here. I just open it up in Pages. Uh, for Mac, literally started dragging and dropping my uh, images from the folder that I had saved everything from Lightroom out to a folder that I wanted to use in the book and just started, yeah, dragging them into pages, just dropping them and you can play with the opacity, doing some different kind of graphic layout here. Say I wanted to put a, a photograph on this page. And I'll just say drag the photo in. Can center it you're done you can resize it if you want to um, you can, if you wanted to make it like so that it would take up the entire deal there that's kind of there okay yeah it's not that doesn't look that cool so I would just go take it back to uh, there we go just yeah take it back to a smaller smaller size so you can see the whole photograph if you wanted to, you could put some text on top of it. And I would yeah, drag it in a little bit more. There, it's centered again. You can put text on top of it. Uh, 
dedicated to my kids. Talking about Portland, I was taking a photograph, driving over the bridge, west side going downtown. See, put a little bit of text in, not a lot, man. I kept it pretty minimal, but I just dragged each of these photos from the folder. It's simple. So I was going from, say, I wanted to do that one up here. Yeah, put it there because I wasn't on that page. See? Yeah, just drag and drop stuff. That's how easy it is. Okay? All right. Okay, when you're done putting your book together, go ahead and go into your MagCloud account, upload your PDF file, and in one to two weeks, you'll have it back in your hands. You can flip through it, you know, look through it, see everything you love, man. See your photographs in a book. Maybe see some things you don't love. You know, just go back into the file, make the changes, upload the new version. Yeah, play around with it, man. Have fun. It is fun. Okay, Portland, Beauty, Culture, Vibe. Yeah, I love this book. It is my favorite book I've made so far. And since it's the last book that I've made um, so far, yeah, I'd already worked with MagCloud and the templates and was kind of, I had a better feel for how to work with them to get what I wanted. So I uploaded this uh, for the first time and ordered a copy it came back perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. I didn't have to change a thing. Don't have those expectations. That's not a good idea to start with. Um, think that, yeah, you're going to do some test copies, right? Play around with it. Try some different things. Try some different elements and maybe graphic design elements, things like that. Play around with the text. And yeah, experiment with it. Get a copy back. Take a look at it. Figure out what you want to change. Make the changes. Try it again. It's fun, man. The process is just fun. It's fun to see your work in a book, right? To be able to hold it, take it. I take this stuff with me when I go out, uh, you know, walking around with my camera sometimes and the people ask me what kind of photography I do. Yeah, I'll just show them the book. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's so rewarding to see your stuff in a book like this. If you've got a photography business, man, put together these books, you know, so you can show your clients your work in a book. It's a a great way, great presentation for your, your artwork, man. I can't stress it enough. And I want to thank you guys for um, for everyone who's been buying the books. Thank you so much. I'll leave a link down in the, uh, in the description below if you guys want to check these out. But thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Hey, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Get out of here early. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. I hope you do the books. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'm Tabira, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.